If you were wondering what areas around Raleigh have the most parks, amenities, playgrounds, and trails, that's what we're gonna be hitting today, so stay tuned. All right, so first up on the list is Apex. So Apex is um, one of our favorite spots around the Triangle yeah. because of these reasons, like in this video today, there's just so many great parks and access to greenway trails. We are at Apex Community Park today, which has so many different things from rec fields, a little lake, rocking trails, all kinds of things. And there are 12 parks in Apex. And in addition to that, there's over 13 miles of greenway trail right now and with future development, <laughs> in Dump, mind yeah, for more, more. Yeah. and in wade county apex has the most miles of american tobacco trail which is a 22 mile trail that spans all the way from durham into apex so a lot of people love that one especially like a marathon runner or yeah. people that really want to get a lot of miles in on the same trail absolutely outside of the park side of amenities apex is loaded when it comes to like shopping centers and new developments in the area yeah there's a lot of new construction around apex you will find that apex feels really new compared to a lot of the other suburbs we're going to be talking about today um, a lot of what's been constructed here has really happened like in the last five to ten years which yeah. is kind of crazy um, but in addition to that there is still a really cute historic downtown there's a ton of different grocery options here so if you want a Publix or if you're a Harris Teeter person or a food line person like there's a lot of options for that and there's also a lot of options for restaurants and other types of shopping and Apex puts you pretty close to being into um, Cary as well yep, so you can absolutely. also drive right into Cary pretty easily. Yep. All right, up next on the list is Cary, and Cary packs a big punch yeah, for its weight. Yeah, it is way. a powerhouse as it far really, as areas really around Raleigh. It really is. It's not the largest we're going to talk about today, but it's also not the largest area that we're going to talk about today either. Um, but in terms of numbers, Cary's going to have 30 parks and 80 miles of Greenway trails, um, which is just so impressive yeah. for a place that size yeah it really is to have 30 parks is just crazy in itself and the amount of greenway trail access and when you're in places like cary a lot of that greenway trail access is within your neighborhood which is amazing yeah, so a is. lot of them have a lot of easy accessibility to get onto those greenway trails through the neighborhood itself which is super helpful um, if you don't want to have to like drive and go to a park just to access the greenway trail yeah and the parks that are in cary some of them some of these 30 are like smaller pocket park style kind of things but some are really large and amazing like bond park is an incredible park yeah. with lots and lots to do there um, and then you have the new downtown Cary park which is beautiful and just a really unique park yeah and as far as other amenities in Cary go Cary's going to probably be one of our best locations <laughs> um, to have easy yeah. access to Raleigh easy access to Durham great access to the airport and also to the Research Triangle Park. So that makes it really appealing for a lot of people. You've also got a lot of shopping you within do. Cary itself. Um, some major shopping centers that you have there, you've got Waverly Place and the Fenton and there's tons of other shopping centers yeah. in the area too, but those are two of the of the bigger ones. And the downtown area is also really cute. Love, love that downtown Cary area. So it is just a really appealing area for so many reasons but it does pack a big punch for its size on it the list today all right and this one probably seems obvious in a lot of ways but we're talking about the entire triangle in this video and we can't go without saying if you want amenities uh, galore and nature galore you have to add raleigh to the list yeah. um raleigh definitely beats out all of these areas as far yeah. as how many parks and how many miles of trail we have raleigh actually has over 200 parks which is just insane within it those is. 200 um, you've got community centers and rec centers included in that number but you've also yeah. have 72 playgrounds um, within those park systems so if you've got kids coming with you you know that's a lot of playgrounds to explore yeah. a different one every yeah. week and still have extra like it's it's crazy um, and we have over 100 miles of greenway trail in raleigh alone you also have umstead state park which is not included mm -hmm. in those numbers um, you know and that's a huge huge state park 5,000 acres 5,000 acres yeah. of, of trail so if you're looking for something more um, hiking that doesn't feel like necessarily like a paved trail per se yeah. but more more like really in the woods like you've got umstead there which is really cool yeah absolutely so in terms of amenities outside of parks raleigh obviously i mean I, 
again, I, I feel like we don't really need to mention this, but yeah. Raleigh has <laughs> all the shopping you need, whether it's groceries, malls, whatever it is, Raleigh has it all. Yeah, for sure. There's tons of access to everything you could possibly need is going to be right here in Raleigh because that is really like the heart yeah. of the triangle. I will say, you know, if, if you look at Raleigh and kind of split it up into different areas, North Raleigh is going to have the highest concentration of that shopping. So yeah. Southern Raleigh tends to be a little more rural um, than Northern Raleigh. And so if, if you are going to split Raleigh up, North Raleigh is going to be where the highest concentration of a lot of these amenities are. Yeah, for sure. All right, up next is Wake Forest. And I would also say Wake Forest packs a punch above its weight because there's just there's a lot going on there so you have 17 parks in wake forest you have eight playgrounds 15 and a half miles of greenway trails 35 miles planned 35 total miles planned. uh no 50 miles total oh so 50 miles 35 total, more me. that's yeah, not 35 done additional miles that yeah. are going to be planned for the town of wake forest i mean that's substantial for yeah. an area the size yeah. of wake forest. wake forest ended up with 50 miles of greenway that's trail that's like really really impressive yeah but even 15 and a half yeah. is really 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 good yeah and what they have been adding i feel like it is they are trying to get it a little more connected into yeah. the newer developments or connected um, from a development to a park like i know there's a, a newer construction neighborhood close to joiner park in wake forest and they actually extended the trail up to that so that's yeah. pretty cool but i think you'll see more and more of that in wake forest as more developments continue to pop up yeah and kind of similar to apex like we were talking about a lot of wake forest feels like it's been developed in like the last 10 years there's a lot yeah. of commercial commercial space that feels um, newer and just a lot of variety of um, different types of grocery stores and things in that area. There's got to be more grocery stores in Wake Forest than like anywhere in the triangle. I don't know. I feel like they're always it building a like new grocery sometimes. store, yeah. um, but there's so many different grocery options there. Um, and then just a lot of commercial development yeah. in general. Um, so that can be a con for some people if they don't like the thought of like constant construction going on. It's definitely a rapidly growing area mm -hmm. in the triangle, but there is a lot of access to all that stuff right within Wake Forest. You have pretty easy access to the north side of Raleigh, but otherwise Wake Forest can feel a little bit more removed than some of the other places we mentioned today. Yeah. All right, next on the list is Holly Springs. Holly Springs has about 11 parks and nine miles currently of Greenway Trail. And that seems like smaller numbers than a lot of these other places we've talked yeah. about, but the parks that are there are like, really big and really nice um if you are like a family that is into little league or any kind of baseball i feel like there's just i feel like it's like the baseball haven like there's it all is. of these huge <laughs> baseball and athletic fields around there. they've got ting park womble park with amazing recreational fields and they are doing a lot more they had a hundred million dollar bond in their last um, election in 2023 just for parks and greenway trails yep. um, so i know there's two more greenway trails just in the works <laughs> actively right now and I'm sure more to come in the future so that's why we're adding it to the list yep. but it has a very kind of similar feel to apex in a lot of ways um, with what is there with the current parks with the current trails yeah. and a lot of developing commercial space um, but it does it is like you kind of hit carry and then you hit apex and then you hit holly springs yeah, so it's a little further so out it is a little bit further out but it's definitely one to mention on today's list we love the vibe around the around the holly springs area yeah and cindy kind of mentioned the commercial development so holly springs is going to have everything you need in terms of amenities there's two major shopping centers there that are going to have you know like your targets and your walmart's the are, best target in the yeah that are, <laughs> i love that the holly springs that are pretty target. close and they're and they're pretty <laughs> close together both of those shopping centers um but yeah outside of parks holly springs is also going to have everything you need in terms of other amenities yeah for sure I'm Zach, this is my beautiful wife, Cindy. We are a couple of real estate agents in the area. So if you are looking to buy or sell, our team would love to be your real estate resource of choice. You can find our contact info below or you can find us on social media. Yeah, we'd love to have you follow along on Instagram. You can find us at The Honeycut Realtors or The RDU Buzz. We'd love to have you follow along there. If you're not a social media user, you can also head over to our website, honeycutteam.com and we'd love to connect with you. Yep, see y'all next time.